All right. All right. It is a beautiful day. We have the Grand Championship Finals here. Allied versus Allied between Marco the Goat and Tim the General. First question, boys. I'm just going to get straight to it. Now, I can't believe I'm saying this. But does Marco stand a chance? Oh yeah, Ed, that would be great. This uh Oh yeah, Ed, Ed would be fantastic. Uh wait, wait, wait. Da, 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 da. Gentlemen. Gentlemen. Oh, so it's... it doesn't like us today. It does not yeah, like uh, us today. Yeah, yeah. I'm uh, I'm streaming right now, fellas. Just to let you know. Oh, you Frank, got, you you're streaming now. Streaming now. Oh my god, you're on the stream oh, as we speak. Oh, oh my god, and I I shall. But nothing's join. happening. Oh my god. Yeah, it's pain. I don't know what's going oh on. Uh, maybe it's because I uh, edited the notepad of the. How to let those those uh, fellas know. Uh, it looks like Ed might be AFK here. So, where was I? I was about to ask a dangerous question. Does Marco stand a chance? Now, he is the greatest player of all time, so obviously he does stand a chance. But he got 4 owed the last time he played this guy, right? 4 owed. Tim has played 15 series this tournament, 15, and has won all 15, okay? He has been absolutely relentless. He's crushed everyone. His overall win-loss, I believe, is 60 wins, 13 losses here. Uh, and and this, is, this is against all, this is an invitational tournament. You know what I mean? This isn't just versus, like, random people, all right? 16, 13 versus the best. So Marco has his work cut out for him. I guess we should tell them. Top versus top plays plays totally different. Um, he may not have restarted if he knew it was top versus top from the start, because a lot of times you build differently depending on the spawns. I was kind of curious about top versus top, to be honest. That would have been pretty interesting. But... We will have a full heck here. Uh, Mike Oz is more than welcome to join. So where was I? Uh, Tim has been virtually indestructible in this tournament. No one has beat him, but let's face it, boys. If anybody can do it, it's this guy. It's the goat. It's the king. It's the guy who gets rank one with fucking Germany when he feels like it. Does he have answers? Does he have solutions? Tim's play style, which has proven to be so, so difficult for everyone. What's his style? Well, of, of course it depends on the map. But generally, if the map suits it, he gets his Air Force command up. Like, right after war, he makes less miners than you do. And... Boy, does he put you in a choke. And it's very difficult to break that choke without succumbing to huge damage. So Marco is fully 100% aware of this, okay? And you know, he's probably practiced, but at the very least, he has he's thought about this in the shower this morning. At, at the very least, right? So he, he's got an idea. At the, at the Again, at the very least. So, what's his solution here? We're about to find out. Can Tim be beat in AVA? Here we go. Game one on Heck Freeze is over. Top right, we have Collective. Bottom left, we have Clang, a.k.a. Marco. Get your Advil ready. 
this is going to be intense. So right off the bat here, Collective has built his War Factory this way. So there's, there's many options. You can play this position. You can build this way, go over here. You can build this way, build down here. But Tim going for a classical approach here. Right away, breaking his, his um, uh, signature build here and going for extra miners. Uh, the reason for that is because of the, the positions on the map. Um, you'll see that he does, he absolutely changes it up and only does that on maps where uh, it's most feasible. This is not a guy who just randomly does things. These things are extremely well calculated and of course even more so well executed as we have a very efficient build here. Moving to here to get that next ore refinery down and Tim with the activity immediately. Marco is on four miners here. So Tim with the active position already putting Marco in a, in a very annoying spot here. And he appears to be ahead as well with the build. I'm not sure how that... See, you, want this, you don't want this guy long distancing. When that happens, you got to make sure you micro him and put him here. Perhaps Marco is feeling game one jitters here. Um, he does have the air covered, right? He has two IVs and three Rocketeers. So Rocketeers shouldn't be too much of a problem just yet as Tim... Probably going to get... I want to see him move his MCB here and get another ore refinery here, to be honest. That would just be sick. So Marco has officially broken free from the choke. Now he's on six miners. His opponent is also on six miners. Tim moving once again, staying active with his units. He's not just sitting in his base. He's not necessarily looking for a fight. Okay, brilliant micro there by Tim. Just getting some damage real quick on the Grizzly Tank, then retreating, and this... Unfortunate, bad day <laughs> to be a GI, boys. That is unfortunate. Loses the Rocketeer for that, though. Uh, where is Tim's power drop? I don't see it anywhere. I'm trying not to move around too, too all over the place for you guys so you can enjoy watching. Marco is now on two War Factories. That is strange. He's expanding this way, which is also strange. And Tim, once again, staying active. We have some long-distance mining here. This is why you want a second... Ooh, 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 ooh. Tim doing some, some work with the builds. Mr. McNerdy here. But Marco appears to have the superior tank army right now. This is a very difficult fight for Tim to win, especially on this cliff now. The Rocketeers are here to help out. Loses another Rocketeer. Brilliant control here by Marco. He has... Only th four Rocketeers for defense, I guess, ag against the Rocketeers. Only three Rocketeers here for Tim. Uh, sec Marco's second power drop here. Very defensive. I like this power drop. Okay, so reinforcing his army here. Marco is definitely in a perfectly fine situation. I hear something shooting. What's shooting? What is shooting? Oh, it's hitting his mind. That's got to be annoying. Okay, so neither player is going for any fancy smancy splits here. We have a pretty good economy here for Marco. He wants to get an ore refinery over here. So we'll see if he builds another war factory. And the position for Tim. Oh, the Rocketeers are just... What is going on here? And Marco reinforcing his army with the Rocketeers. And the veteran IV leading the charge. T Tim is on the back foot here. And Marco has successfully defended that dangerous, dangerous push at this angle. Any of you who've played bottom left, this area is so difficult to defend. That's why the power drop was here. And he almost baited him in. He almost wanted him to come in. That's one thing Marco does is he'll bait you in, guys. This is not, this is not done by accident. But this is far from over. Tim's eco is still booming. He is at War Factory, though. Marco has three wars. Um, and this power drop is absolutely going to get cleaned up here. Uh, once again, a bad day to be a GI. They never stood a chance, boys. Yikes. You pop out of a plane and you're just midair. There's just a bunch of units in the air just shooting you with their guns. That's rough. Love this build, by the way. Absolutely love it. So he's building over here now to expand. Uh, the question is, what does Marco do next? He's on three wars. This is not the most efficient thing in the world. At least this patch isn't. So we'll see. Marco is now making a move. He seems to have him out tanked. This is a lot of Rocketeers. The Patriot missile here as well to defend against the Rocketeers. S still chilling with the Rocketeers. Not, not trying to do too much here. Here, Just trying to take it one step at a time. He's trying to checkmate his opponent one move at a time here. He does not necessarily want to just nosedive in and give the advantage back. He knows he has the advantage right now. But how big is that advantage? We got one, two... Three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, nine miners for Tim. I don't want to miss anything, so I don't want to count 
Marco's miners just yet, so it's unclear exactly what's going on. And the Rocketeer count for Marco is starting to get scary. It definitely outnumbers Tim. Marco with control here in the center. This is not easy to push through with the with the Patriot missile, with the pillbox, with all the GIs. But complete control now for Marco. Um, and what's the next step? Okay, so he's in central control here with his MCV, going to get an refinery here. Has opted to skip out on, on this patch and went straight for the goodies. And now it's up to Tim to break free. The difference, the reason why it's harder to, to break free for Tim in this situation is he's, because he lost units in the previous engagement, and that, which didn't go well for him. He needs to keep these alive. Okay, that hurt, but it definitely could have been worse. I, I, I like the way Marco's playing this. I don't think he should overcommit. He, he just knows he would win a fight right now. If there, look at look at this. You can just tell. Look at the numbers, right? Marco clearly has him outnumbered. As long as nothing too drastic happens, this looks like it's Marco's game. Tim needs to do something here. And now moving his MCV. Marco on 5K. Tim on 4K. So both players here, very economic in their approach with this game. You see, I have another... I don't know about these power drops here from Tim. He wishes he had them all up here and shit. Okay, so Marco has kept him off this expansion here, playing a very methodical game, and the first split is underway for Tim. He has his eyes set on this MCV. I don't know if Marco sees it. He wants to get some damage on the Rocketeers here. Marco does see it, of course. He did th th send a lot of tanks over there to defend this. Am I missing something? He's going all the way down here. And the tanks simply just go back. And Tim is now in the center with a miner here trying to get some gems. Tim is splitting over here. He knows he needs to make some sort of move. This is this is a very difficult situation to play from here. Patriot missile for Marco. Securing his expansion. A little bit of long distance mining, but it's okay. He probably should chrono some of these miners over here. And some good damage for Tim. This is the type of damage he needs to slowly catch up here, but he's out of position. He could lose his MCV. Looks like he will lose the MCV here. Gets the MCV. Very methodical, very in theme with this game. It did cost him quite a few tanks, but absolutely worth it. Now the timer. Oh, I didn't even see this. Definitely going to clean up some tanks here. He has 13k as well, as does Tim. What is going on here? A couple veterans. That is scary. Very scary. Uh, and this is some ridiculously high-level play from both of these players. I am... Okay, so Tim is getting him on both sides here. He knows he needs to get a favorable engagement right now, not later. We have a split over here, a bunch of Rocketeers AFK. This is where that, that select all units hotkey comes in handy. You know the pillbox is going to be coming down soon. He, he has a Patriot missile and a bunch of IFVs, so he's not particularly afraid of the Rocketeers. But that is not, that is not over here. He has one Patriot missile. This looks like an all-in from Tim here. The IFVs are still here. Another Patriot missile here from Marco. His Rocketeers are AFK up top. And the Elite joins the party. But is Tim going to win this fight? Because Marco's IFVs, Marco's rock Rockets are, are AFK at the top of the map. Is that going to cost him here? He's got an Elite Grizzly. Here, just press P. Press P one time. Oh, he's going to lose the game because of that. He does have 16k, but these elite grizzlies, yeah, the Rocketeers. This is not over, though. He needs to keep these alive. Oh, Marco, press P. Press P once. Just press P. Where are your rockets? Please, your rockets. Oh, this is so painful. Tim is making magic happen. He's probably confused, and this is the reason why Marco is losing this game right now. If these were at home, they'd be able to contest his rockets, and they still, they still could save him. They can still save him! Oh, these elite grizzlies. Oh, man, this is painful to watch, boys. Oh, man. Okay. So, a mistake there from Marco. Tim making magic happen in game one. That was Marco's game to win. Wow. Ooh. That, is, that perfectly demonstrates, guys, when you're, when you're in a winning position like that. Now, obviously, it's... It's easy for me to just sit here and say, oh, you should have done this, you should have done that. Uh, I lost to this guy, so let's not talk about that. But um, you, you need a, the only way of losing is, if, is his one attack right there and then. You press P to bring everything back. So. Whew. That was intense. That was game fucking one. All right. Country Swing is a wildly different map here. This is uh, generally a strategical map. By strategical, of course, I mean slow. 
Why is it slow, you may ask? Because, well, all it, well, first of all, it's low resource, right? So, second of all, all of your money is kind of like over here, and all of his money is like kind of over here. There's a bunch of garrisons in the way, there's chokes, both players generally spam miners and then just sit and tech. But, you know, you can rush on this map. It's extremely dangerous if you do like an all in, all like kitchen sink rush. The, uh, I like to call it the Rocker 219. He popularized it. He would just beat everybody with that rush. It's very hard to defend. It's especially very hard to defend as allies because your power plant takes longer to build and is more expensive. And you're going to need two of them to properly defend the rush. That being said, this is a suspicious build, right? No, 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 no maybe not. Okay. He wants to put the ore refinery here. AFC here, ore refinery here. What's what's his plan there? Where's Marco going for a very classical build? It might actually be better to get your ore refineries over here. Not so sure. So Marco going for a, a tank right away. He's building another ore refinery. Okay, so it's not committal. Looks like it's just one tank here. Tim already has it defended. Moving his MCV. So forcing the tank. Looks like they're going to get a trade here. And Tim just reacting to the threat. No big deal. And then trying to f fake the rush. And then both players. Guys, we are we are watching some high level play here. <laughs> this is some high level stuff. Neither player. The min-maxing. Neither player has overreacted to any of the threats. Just perfectly defended. Marco with the move here. Look at this move. This is just. The ore refinery is going to be just tucked in there. I love that. It's just tucked in there. All nice and snug. Going for another miner here. Tim as well. Doing the same. Okay, so both players are booming now on economy. The next question is, what will happen next? Do you go for the battle app? Do you go for the second war? Do you spam Rocketeers? Do you get the Patriot Missile up? You may want to garrison some of these structures. These these, these, uh, these could be used against you. The power, the power drop is on the way as we wait for Tim here. He's making an advance to the other side of the map. The Rocketeers here are... Annoying Marco here. The IV is forced. He only has one Grizzly Tank to his name right now, and there are way more than one Grizzly Tank coming. Perfect pillbox placement and movement here. I already get the sense that Marco needs to win this game. As Tim is setting up his huge eco, there's going to be Rocketeers spamming in. What is Marco's plan here? The power drop is just about ready for Tim. It's going to be coming very soon. He needs to. He may want to consider garrisoning these structures before it's too late. Like the Rocketeer is going to get a few shots on in here. He has the IV to defend against his opponent's rockets. And once again, Tim with the more active position. Marco is teched. Okay, he has garrisoned one of these. He probably should garrison this as well. The eco is booming. What's the next play here? Okay, so multiple IVs. Maybe he's going to go for splits. All right, the power drop is on the way. Okay, so Marco just wants to hold. Maybe get the ore purifier up and take this into the late game. Ooh la 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 la. Marco with the finesse here. One IV. I don't know if that's going to cut it. He's absolutely going to snipe this B-Lab. Absolutely worth it. You do not want to get your B-Lab sniped before. You know, you know that War Purifier was about 75% done right there, guys. And Tim is booming. Look at this. Look at these miners. Eight. Eight. Four on each patch. Multiple refineries on each patch. He is going to be booming here. And it was right before... The Orp Purifier is up, and Marco is in trouble. Tim knocking at his door. He can smell the 2-0. The Battle Lab is back up. The Orp Purifier is back under construction. It looks like he has enough to hold this, but he definitely does not have enough to push out anytime soon. So Marco is down a miner and down two War Factories. He does have the Veteran IFV. This is going to be tough to hold. Does he have enough units to hold this? I don't know. The Patriot Missile is up. He's going to lose. Ooh, one Miner here. Tim getting him out of position. Two Miners. Is that enough? Oh, he gets the Elite IV as well and loses his whole army. But a lot of damage has been done here. The Ore Purifier is on the way, I suppose. He, Marco only has five Miners. Tim has eight and three Wars. He can replenish this army. But this is going to be really annoying. This right here is really annoying. 
Power drop here from Tim. This this has to do wonders in order for Tim to win this game. If this gets like heavy kill here, if this kills the Orb Puri, all right, Marco sees it. What is the next play here from Mark? He wants to use this. Maybe, yep, okay, the planes are under construction to snipe that. This is a huge threat. I'm surprised he's not using this. He needs to put this to use. He's behind heavily on the economy, but the Orb Purifier is up. We are back up to a solid six minor count here. Tim, the eco is still booming. He's splashing the cash, making some harriers to snipe that IFV. Another Patriot missile might be necessary. Tim, uh, Marco does not have the anti-air right now. This might get sniped right now. Ooh, he dodges it, gets the kill. The micro, the moves. I still am liking uh, Tim's position here. He's up two miners. He's got two extra war factories. He's now teched up. He does have an answer for the Elite IFV. What will happen next? When do you transition into prism tanks? That is the question. Clang is rich. He's, he's um, really benefiting. This is extremely powerful, this, this structure here. Maybe he's trying to bait the planes. All right, and this is the conventional country swing game. We are entering those waters where it's starting to get very slow strategical waters, and the timer is ticking here for Tim. He's got to wonder. He, it does not look like he has the ground force to make any form of push right now. The chronosphere is protected amongst all of these garrison structures here. What does? What's the play here? Did he lose his elite IV? He did not lose his elite IV. It looks like he's going to chronosphere prison tax. What is the target? What do you, where do you chronosphere, boys? Here? 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 Those Mirage tanks are to come, come in and clean. Ooh! Huge snipe there from Tim. Okay, that was a few seconds too late. It's unfortunate he would have had that protected. Marco's base is quite secure from air, but he's in no position to make any form of push. These Rocketeers have him, have him covered, and the Chronosphere is ready in 30 seconds here. Ticking down, he has four Prism Tanks. Where do you Chrono? Oh, where do you Chrono? His War Factories are so spread out, right? Maybe you Chrono here? Chrono right here, right? He's got no garrisons. Chrono right here. Snipe the Chrono, then the Lab, then the AFC. Okay, so he's trying to get him out of position so he can chrono here. But where does he chrono? Right here. Get this, then this. Yep. Get this, then this, then this. You might as well just... Uh, oh, get, get, the, get the prison tanks. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, nice prison tank trade. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Wow. Heavy chrono here from the Marco, from the GOAT. That was just absolutely perfect. Maximize the chrono. Killed... The super weapon, killed the battle lab, killed the AFC, and even traded some prison tanks. So it wasn't a complete waste of units. He is, he does not have the air, he is completely um, outnumbered in terms of the air presence, though. He has no air. He might want to consider working on that. Uh, he has 12k to his name. Here's that Tanya that was made a long time ago. He's going for the MCD snipe. He doesn't see it. He does. Oh! He gets the battle lab. So no more prison tanks for Marco, at least for the next 20 seconds as he rebuilds his B-Lab. 14k. Make some rockets, dude. Jesus. Okay, so it's a nice little scout here from Tim. Was it worth it? I don't know. As the IFVs are being added to the fray. And Marco looks to be in a quite a secure position here, bunkering up with more. Um, and this is it. <laughs> here he comes, boys. Here he comes. The miners are coming here for the fodder. Very good versus prism tanks. Does he have enough? He wishes he could splash the cash, please. Splash that cash, boy. Jesus, what is going on? Marco is not sure what to do. I have no idea what's going on. And it looks like this attack might be working here for Tim. Just going for the chronosphere snipe? What is going on? Gets the elite fucking prism tank as well. And the 12k. But this was an all-in, right? He brought all of his miners. He's broke. He's not going to be able to support this. The Rocketeers will clean this up. He needs to get the War Factory and the MCV here. Uh, he's also... he had, He's on two War Factories. He can pump out tanks. And he chronoed... Ooh! These GIs here are going to do some damage. He brought some of his miners back. Here, trying to splash that cash. He may want to sell two War Factories here. He doesn't have the money to support that. Clang on 8k. Did lose his ore purifier there. Took some heavy damage. What's going on? 
What's going on? Please back these up. Please just don't give these up like this. Not like this. Not like this. Not like this. Not like this. Those were really important. What was he doing? What was he doing? Oh, he lost everything. He might lose now. Those were very important to him, those units. Oh, he wishes he had those. Just like a bunch of Rocketeers just hovering in all these garrisons. There's no way you lose, right? No. You know, you know, now's not the time for an additional war. You don't have the money. You're out of money. And now, suddenly, Marco has lost his Air Armada. And this position, Tim with the Ore Purifier, and Marco not with the Ore Purifier here. And all these Patriot missiles are hurting him. He's broke. What is this? What did this additional war factory get you? Uh, insufficient funds, boys. That's what it got you. What was he doing over here? I don't know. That might have costed him the game there. He does have quite a few Mirage tanks to his name, though, as he's going to do some long-distance mining here. He wants to get these gems. Okay, so some kills for these Mirage. And this is still a situation where Prism tanks could be quite useful. Tim here fixing up all of his units. It's unfortunate... Uh, Marco has the B-Lab, though. Okay, Marco has the B-Lab. He should sell at least one of these wars. Please! You just can't afford, uh... Okay, so Marco still has his MCV and the, and the tech. Uh, the, ooh, that's, that's pretty greedy. That's pretty greedy. So the timer is back on Tim here. He's facing a fully teched opponent with the Chronosphere, and th there's no way Rocketeers are getting in anytime soon. There's even, there's two over here. Uh, I would like it to see one of these war factories sold. Ooh, these are out of position. This might be unnecessarily risky here. Just, just go defend. It's the only way you can lose. I would like to see one of these war factories sold, but what do I know? A little AFK miner here should bring this to the front. The prism tanks are now added. Just one prism tank will suffice. Just make Mirage. And that should be a tied series, boys. He does not have the battle app to compete versus the tech here. The MCV as well. What a game. Okay, going for a little flank here. A little NG, maybe. A little uh, NG Wengy, boys. A little NG Wengy. A little NG Wengy, boys. Uh... Yoink. This is a little... Uh... Tier 1 unit, 500 credits, can capture your king. Don't know about that. What is going on? Is he mis microing this? He mis microed that. He misclicked. He misclicked with his units. Sell! Jesus! Alright, please make Mirage tanks, please. And Tim still with the Ore Purifier. Oh, he has pillboxes now. Okay, it looks like... Alright, he has enough to defend this. Oh my dear lord, sweet baby Jesus, guys. I need Advil. It's game two. I need Advil. I need Advil. Oh uh, boy, am I glad I'm not playing. This is just stressful. There's nothing nothing short of stressful. What are you chrono here? It's, it's still very possible for Marco to lose this game. He's not exactly the richest man in the world here. He's down the one war factory. His MCV was captured and sold. What are you chrono? A miner? Mmm. 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 Well, that being said, Tim is down to one miner now. So I guess that made sense in this... No, he's not. He's got more. He has two miners. So Tim has two miners. And Marco has much more than two. Let's just put it that way. Tim does have the ore Puri, which is a big deal here. You may want to consider selling one of these ore refs as well. What's going on? Please don't miss micro this. Please. Don't control shift your mirage. Alright. Okay, so winning the fight here. Holy shit. That game was on a knife's edge. The whole time, guys. That was like fucking... That was just a sewer fight. There was like fucking two blind guys with knives fighting in the sewer. Oh my dear god. 1-1. One, one. The goat ties it up here. He's, he's here to play. He's here for real. Uh, he almost threw that one as well. Um, I, I mean, mistakes are going to happen, guys. This is this is a ridiculously fast game here. Um, you're not going to be able to get through any game of RE2, no matter who you are, without making some mistakes. It's uh, it's a lot about who makes the the biggest mistake, really. Um,
But what we are witnessing here is nothing short of some of the highest level play I think I've ever seen. As we get into an extremely dynamic map, you can see the difference between the player's choices. Marco picking the slow strategical map and Tim picking the wankly dankly. This is this is Tim Tim City here. We are going to see exactly what hit the, the reason why Tim has made it this far undefeated. Uh, because of the, the way he's going to play this game here. And I'm very curious to see how Marco, on the right-hand side here, approaches what he knows coming. Uh, and what Tim does, just to go over it again, is you will see the War Factory, you will see the AFC, you will see one miner, crone it over here, some rockets, straight grizzlies, and the power drop and the choke. And it's going to be very difficult for you to expand. So... And he will just expand all over the map, get these gems, expand over here, get these gems, fucking kill the walls, expand over here, get these gems, move these gems over here, get these gems as well. He's a very, he's a greedy man. So we'll see. Marco knows this. He's thought about this in the shower this morning. Um, so what's his plan? Uh, I'm very curious to see what he does. Do you just, do you just go the exact same build and just say, hey, I have, I have the same number of units as you. I can just defend you. Or do you go for the greed? Do you go for the extra miner? We will see. I want this minor chrono over here. Thank you. All right. So Tim, Tim, just not going for the AFC build this time, going for the refinery, just changing it up here, showing um, his exquisite diversity. Okay. So the AFC up now, and they both have the exact same build. Tim, a little bit more active here. Marco did invest in the IFV, so he's slightly out-tanked here. Tim not wasting any money on Rocketeers at the moment. That is a surprise. Marco going for the Rockets. MCV deployed. MCV deployed. We have the fourth miner coming at the expansion on the gems for both players at the same time. Okay, so we have an IFV, two Rockets. IFV forced. No Rocketeers yet from Tim. He does have some money here to spend. Marco is approaching... Approaching broke, but it looks like he's going to be fine here. The refinery will be up soon. Refinery up for Tim. Tim is like a half second ahead here. Not too big of a deal, as we are now collecting gems here for both players. The the miners are croned over. Get this guy over here. Some two miners, two, two refineries over here. An efficient refinery over here, and the rocketeer game is starting. Tim flying around, just trying to get Marco out of position. Marco will not budge. He's staying in position, and. The fodder count definitely in the favor of Marco here as we have a para drop going in the back of Marco's base trying to get him out of position here. The IFVs are going to get a couple free kills. This was a distraction para designed specifically to get Marco out of position so Tim can make a move straight in, which he does, but is it enough? Is Marco defending this? He is defending this, the fodder, and then he has his para drop here as well to help him defend. And the GOAT is pressing forward here and the the mcd was already moved and this might cost him as he's not going he does not have a base to fall back on he's went with the extremely optimistic play and marco with the answers ladies and gentlemen we are witnessing the goat go and tim all right, it's not over till the fat lady sings, boys. It's not a, the fat lady has not sung yet. These are a lot of weak tanks, but he's, you know, it's, from from a position like this for Marco, this is a matter of technique. This is just a matter of technique. But that being said, you know, Tim does have a lot of rocketeers now. There's no IV here for Marco. He looks, he's splitting around. He's trying to cause a distraction. This is not over, folks. These could fly in, get some heavy damage here. The, the MCV is not yet sniped. He's going to get. A minor kill. That is a big kill. Three War Factories from Marco here. Power drop in the back. That will be cleaned up. Pillboxes over here as well. Does Tim have the resources? The MCV is now sold. It's all or nothing here. This bad boy might be walked over here at some point. Tim trying to get Marco out of position. He does have the Rocketeer advantage, but he is heavily out-tanked here. Another, another minor kill would be nice, but Marco micros it back, saves it. And the IFV is he's here to save the day. It's only a matter of time. Tim needs to make a heavy push. I'm surprised he's not mining these. He's just been so busy all over the map here. Okay, so these Rocketeers from Marco are finally going to get cleaned up, but not without putting in some damage first. The power drop here 
for Tim being cleaned up by dogs. Don't drop your power drop near barracks, guys. If you want to know what it's like to drop your power, power drop near barracks, guys, that that's what it's like. You got to respect that your opponent is going to see it, okay? Now, that being said, this is a desperation situation for Tim. He knows he needs to try something here. <sighs> okay, so Marco knows. See, this is this is brilliant. He, he knows. He, he doesn't have to move. He's like, Tim, what are you going to do? Dude? You have no MCV. <laughs> you have no MCV, buddy. But that being said, Tim did snipe a miner, a very important miner. So maybe Marco should go for the base trade. I don't know, but it looks like he just wants to defend, get another worry refinery up, and just get a bigger lead. So, getting some nice kills here with the Rockets. Looks like Tim wants to dive in right here, right now. But Marco has him heavily out-tanked from the multiple War Factory strategy. And Marco making a push for the lead. Knocking on Tim's front door. His only AFC, gone. His last Grizzly tank, gone. His only War Factory, gone. It's two to one. <sighs> All right, so Tim has to be scratching his beard right now because that was his map. He has not lost any games on that map at all. Um, but he didn't go for his conventional build. He needs to make a quick call. He's calling me right now. He's, he's, he's just like, oh, yeah, dude, he just got shit on. I'm, call, I'm fucking calling this bro. I get fucking wrecked. No, I'm just kidding. He's not calling me. He is. He is calling me. So Marco's apparently being harassed. Quote, unquote. So straight to caverns. I, I want to see the Tim build here. I want to see the fucking Tim build, please. AFC after war. And, ch and and wrap your your hands around Marco's neck. Not enough fucking around, Tim. I, I don't know why he's changing his build, or maybe I'm mistaken. I don't know, but I'm pretty sure he's gone with the same build for most of the twenty. So we'll, well, we'll see what he does here. I, I personally don't like his build because uh, when I do his build. Um, you know, I get a lot of activity early, but I'm just behind an economy, and then the opponent just has more units than I do, and just counter pushes, and I'm just really behind. Um, so I don't know exactly how he does it so well. He, what he's what he's really really good at is the timings, the the timings. He understands when. He understands when better than you do, better than anyone does. So. It's it's hard to describe. Um, one of the um, fundamental aspects of this game that really separates a good player from a great player is, is knowing when, when to when to sit, when to push, when to throw everything in the kitchen sink, when to sip your tea, when. These guys have some of the greatest situational awareness. Um, to ever play the game these are this is this is a real treat to watch these guys battle it out here um super high level stuff marco with the two to one lead here <clears throat> series is just getting started This is a best of 13, so buckle up, boys. Buckle up. But thus far, um, it, this has been very looking very good for Mark. Um, you know, in the in the first game, Mark had had it, so to speak. Um, made some mistakes there, leaving his Rocketeers uh, astray. Abandoning his rockets, which he he made the same mistake in game two. Actually, abandoning his rockets, he's not a fan of them, I guess. Um, and then uh, I should say, game three he did that. Uh, game two he lost. So either way, this has been Marco's series thus far in these three games. He's won two, and the only one he lost was probably his to win. Um, so Tim needs to make a change or two. 
So maybe this break favors Tim, because the momentum right now is definitely in Marco's hand. Caverns of Siberia. Uh, these guys have extremely good builds on this map. I'm excited to see what they bring to the table here. First to seven wins, so get your Advil ready. Boys, 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 boys. <clears throat> so, I wonder what, what map Marco is going to pick next. What do you guys think? I feel like he's got some weird ass pick prepared for this series. Like some strange pick. He's just going to be like, at DEFCON, please. It's like, wait, that's not in the list. It's like, at DEFCON, please. He's just going to straight up request DEFCON. Just for shits and gigs. Horrible map, by the way. Although there was a version of it made recently and it's actually extremely good. Um, that reminds me, I might showcase uh, some of the new map made. I think one of the tournaments, plural, coming up uh, is a new maps tournament, quite possibly. There's a bunch of new maps made in secret. Uh, Isle of War has been re remastered. Mayday has been remastered. Lake Blitzen has been remastered. A bunch of the shit, old shitty maps, nostalgic, but just unplayable maps have just been turned into like just wondrously awesome, super, super dynamic, balanced maps. I'll have to show some of you guys some of these maps. As we get underway here, game four, Marco leads two to one. He definitely has the favorite spawn here. The bottom left position and Tim already building. Okay, so yeah, his plan here is to get a nice efficient ore refinery over here. Maybe put the AFC here, get two ore refineries here. And then maybe one here, maybe not. So maybe save this for later and get his MCV over here. He does not want to waste time moving over here, then over here. That definitely is the trick to play this position. Now, Marco, on the other hand, he's going to do some sort of like wacky, dacky build where he like goes over here, uh, then moves his MCV here. So we'll see how many miners they go. I want to see what Tim is feeling right now. Is he going to go... The one minor AFC crap? Or is he gonna go for a more economic build? You're um it, it, one of the there's so there's several reasons why this is more difficult to play. The first reason is that as you can see your gems here, they're all spread out, right? It's gonna it's just more it's more inconvenient for you and your refinery with all the, the uneven terrain, your refinery is gonna be less efficiently placed. As you can see, his ore refinery is like just jamming right here. All of his gems are like right next to each other. The second reason is the power drop comes from the top of the map. And it's going to like, this is this, if you're not paying attention, like boom, power drop hits. It just kills everything. So Tim is opting to move. I don't understand the power, power plant placement um, as he is g getting some activity, but he needs to deploy his MCV. Okay, like this, this, he needs an ore refinery here, right? This isn't efficient at all. Okay, where's Marco's units? Where I lost track of them. I don't know what happened there, guys. This is hard to keep track of. Okay, so it looks like a terrible exchange for Marco there as Tim cleans up a few units. Getting caught out of position here was the goat as he's setting up. For a huge eco here. Okay, so that's his build. He does this. Okay, so what does he... We'll see what he does next. As the power drop, the distraction power drop from Tim here. It shouldn't be too difficult to clean up, but it, 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 need, it does need to be dealt with. It will give him a few seconds to come over here for the flank. Where's Marco's para? I don't know. Going for the micro here, but Tip Marco sees it. Backs up. Probably has the pillbox ready. Cleans up the para drop. Probably has a has some dogs here as well. This is not a well-placed ore refinery, but hey, what are you going to do? Uh, what? Ah, so he sees that the position is currently contested, so he just deploys his MCB right back. Good at adaptation there by the mark. Where is his para? Is he just forgetting it? He's just forgetting his para, boys. Reinforcements are ready, Mark. You are, uh, you are allies, remember. Okay, so he looks to be heavily out-rocketeered here. This is, this is going to be tough. 
So he built a second ore factory before moving in the meantime. And Tim here with the two ore refineries here, one next to this drill, one next to this drill, collecting the gems as well. And there's his power drop. Okay, so the IFVs are here to defend. Marco's position is quite fine. He has the additional war factory. He looks like he has the number of dogs to defend as well. And Marco firmly believes in the war factory, boys. And Rocketeers here. A little nuisance, but not the, not the end of the world here. It looks like Tim has expanded here. He's going to expand over here as well. So his economy is looking good. I want to see this miner over here. This is just, this ore refinery is just garbage. Where is the next power drop going? Looks like Tim's is right here on his front door going for a tank split. What will happen next? Marco sees it. He's sending an appropriate amount of tanks to defend it, but the Rocketeers are here as well. He's going to need a Patriot missile. Losing his Rocketeers. The IFVs are going to come help. You don't want to send everything. Then you leave your front door open. Okay, so Marco might be working on a Patriot missile right now. As his economy back at home is booming, Tim has expanded all over the map here. His next ore refinery is coming up. He's going to be able to splash with the Rocketeers. I want to see some... Oh, so three war factories here for Mark. He does not have a Patriot missile at his front door. This could be worrisome. But he does heavily out-tank his opponent here. War refinery at his expansion as well all along the way. Tim has expanded all over the place. His eco is nice. Marco's is just as nice, but he's on three wars. That is the difference. And he doesn't. Ha he has almost no rocketeers. He has one, one. T okay, let's just say he has zero rocketeers. This this doesn't count. And this is just so much damage from these rockets. And he's trying to go for the IFV snipes, and that was an excellent trade for Marco here. Heavy damage from the rockets. But the IFVs are there. Maybe make some Rocketeers of your own, perhaps. Patriot Missile. A couple more IFVs. He's got to have a Patriot Missile ready, right? He knows he's winning the, the ground war, and he knows he's heavily out Rocketeered. So, second War Factory now up for Tim here. 6k. He's going to be splashing that catch. I want to see the Rocketeer maybe, maybe split these Rockies. Four IFVs here for Marco. Still... Okay, four War Factories. He does not believe... He does not believe in the rockets. That might cost him here, as these are going to be really annoying. They're very mobile. He should use that mobility, come around, get his IFVs out of position, maybe split them up. But you got to know a Patriot missile is ready here. It looks like Tim is splitting over here. He's got some units over here as well. The Rocketeers and company are coming over. The IFVs are there to cover. This this split was also saw, seen and covered as well. Pa preemptive Patriot missile. I like it. He's work. Ooh, that's not good. He is. Uh, he does not see this, does he? That is three AFK miners. Not sure how that happened, but that will cost him the game, as you can see. He's paying for it right now. That might cost him. This is. This is. This is deadly. This is more. This is far more deadly than a power drop killing your war factory, guys. This is really killing me to see. It pains me. It pains me to see. Okay, he saw it. So, every second that ticked by that he didn't see that it was just getting worse and worse. But, um, no miners over here. Interesting. He does seem to have the, the tank lead here still as he's working on his potentially last expansion here. Both players are using the entire map at this stage. Um, it's hard to say whose position is better. I think I like Tim's position. These are really annoying. You might want to split these up, right? Go over here. Maybe a group over here, a group over here. Patriot Missile is here as well. Getting a little bit of damage with the, with the IVs. There are no... Yeah, these these Rocketeers are going to be just too good. Where are they? And the Patriot Missile is there. He needs a pillbox. What is going on? What is going on? You, you need Rocketeers in AVA, Mark. Sorry. And we have ourselves a series, boys. It is 2-2. Two to two. Collective winning his home map there with this second pick, and we get to see what map the goat wants to play. Is it Arctic Circle? Is it DEFCON 6? Uh, Def DEFCON, please. Uh, DEFCON. What's it going to be, Mark?
So maybe the fourth war, maybe the fourth war factory was a bit optimistic. So maybe he should, instead of the fourth war factory, he should have transitioned into air. The rockets are just going to be so, so good in the fight, as well as causing mayhem around the map as well. So Marco, thinking long and hard about this one. Interesting. He's really thinking about this, huh? Hmm. Depth. Okay. Okay. All right. And Tim is cool with death. So we're going to have a game on death here, boys. Yeah. Super excited for this. I particularly do not have the testicular fortitude to play Marco on depth charge. Uh, Got to give credit here to these giant penis individuals here just saying, <laughs> please, uh, ground, we, we need, we, like, they don't care what map it is. Depth? Okay, sure. Fucking depth charge. How do you play this? This is not Navy War. This is full battle. So we'll see uh, what, they're pri what they prioritize, how they approach this. This, of course, this area is pretty important. Um, but you got to control the waters, boys. You can't neglect the seas. So, do you go early Air Force Command? Do you go straight to Battle Lab for Dolphins? Do you try to mass destroyers and expand as fast as possible? Do you go for shenanigans in the center to win the oils? What do you do? So, it looks like Tim here at the top left is going for a traditional build here. It has the four engines for his oils. Marco with the same build. He has four straight Navy Yard. Okay, so the War Factory should be coming in shortly for both players as this intense 2-2 two two Grand Final continues on depth charge. Uh, Air Force Command after Navy Yard. Interesting. So his eco will be delayed here. He is paying for it already, but he wants to snipe some miner, uh, wants to snipe some NGs, right? Is that the plan here? Quickly mark, quickly mark, quickly mark, quickly mark. Oh boy, this is painful. Okay, so we got one. All right, he's going to get two. And he's defended with the Patriot missiles, so it shouldn't be too far. The okay, so second refinery, so his, his eco is fine. He has more more uh, eco than his opponent does, actually, no? Now it's even. And the power drop is on the way for Tim. That's also a factor here that's important. He's going to use it to try to win mid. Page pillbox is here. Power drop's on the way. Marco's just trying to get his last oil here. Oh boy, this looks this looks scary. Going to get an oil derrick as well. Marco certainly was not ready for this, boys. He was not ready for this at all. The power drop is here. The GIs are here. The pillboxes are here. Tim is here. Collective is here. The general is striking here on death. He's going to lose the patient missile. The rocketeers are here. Marco is going to lose the all-important oils in the center. Is he defending this? The Rocketeers are here. The pillbox is being straight in his face. Maybe even bring the amphib in for fodder. And Marco is defended. Okay, patient missiles down. Pillboxes are here. Marco is somehow defending. There are no destroyers. They just don't care about the seas. As you can see, the, the prioritization, the, the war factory is now in the middle. You can see the, whole, the grand scheme of Tim's plans all along was to delay the war factory so you can put it in the middle. That was his plan all along. And you can see just rewriting depth charge here. There is no need for Navy. The oil derricks are too important. It's way too much money here. Because if he, he's not, that's the thing. He's not going to kill these oils. He's going to take them for his own, right? Six oils versus... Excuse me, seven oils versus zero? That's that's not that's not a playable situation. And <clears throat> these grizzly tanks are here. Alright, but the battle lab is up. The dolphins will be produced. He's okay, so he, he's evening up the the count here. And the okay, Patriot missile is there to defend. Very, very needed there. That would have been a disaster if he got some of these structures. And the dolphins are out. Does Tim have an answer to the Dolphins? I don't know. They're coming. One Prism Tank, and this is his. He can't expand. I'm surprised he hasn't expanded yet. And the Dolphins from Mark. Aegis Cruiser is out. 
He has some dolphins as well. He needs to build another navy yard. He can't give up control here of the seas. But that being said, the prison tank is out. Marco's trying to hold on to this for as long as possible here. He would Marco would love to get his, his MCV. This is the win the winning condition for Marco is to get his MCV to the other side. But he doesn't want to move too early. He wants to make sure it's safe. I'm so why is it is it not safe now, guys? Okay, so the Navy Yard's up again here for Tim. He wa Marco wants to snipe this right away. He should be using these pillboxes to kill his own oils, right? They're going to be captured. Just kill your own oils while you still have time. Here comes Marco, get, maintaining control of the seas. It is the middle versus the seas. Yeah, he should have destroyed these a while ago. Oh, another Navy Yard here, the Dolphins. Okay, these oils... He can just keep rebuilding them and make dolphins and slowly catch up. See, he needs to get his MCV to the other side of the map. Mark. Oh, he's going to pump pump uh, Navy Yards now. Yeah, the dolphin, he's going to be able to... Can Marco maintain this control over here? Bunch of... Oh, he had enough dolphins to defend that? Oh, dear. See, he's just trying to... Uh, Oh, he has dolphins over here. Okay, he was splitting them up. Expand! Okay, so you got the ore purifier up. Is that his plan? Then expand? Expand, please, Mark. Ex please, expand. It's the winning condition here. You're going to be out dolphined, dude. He has more money at home than you do. And he has three oils to your zero oils. So now you need to bring these over here. This game is on a knife edge, boy. I, I like Tim's position. He's contesting Navy now. He's got he forced an Aegis cruiser, which is a bunch of dolphins, slowed down here, and he's even going to snipe the Navy Yard with the prison tanks from the center. Every second that Tim has where these aren't killing his goodies, namely this, this, and this, he's winning. And Marco loses his Navy Yard as Tim has re-seized control over the seas. Does Marco have enough dolphins to save this? Looks like he does for now, but Tim will be back. Aegis Cruiser is left alive. I guess Marco has enough dolphins there for the time being, but two Navy Yards, three oils. Uh, 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 What? Uh, I hope it didn't crash for them. Oh man, that was that was unfortunate, guys. What the fuck? Uh, who was winning? Who was winning? Marco had like 4K still, so he was still in the game, but he needed to fucking move his MCV to the other side. I don't know what he was waiting for. I'm sure he had a good reason for that, but uh, I wonder what it was. It was still anybody's game. It, it was, we, we couldn't tell from the observers how, what the, the dolphin versus dolphin ratio was. So, I'm going to be right back, fellas, as I'm sure there's that's, that stressful fucking game might, might continue for a little while longer. Unfortunately, the disconnect there, the, little, the, the game crash, so I'll be right back.
So what do you guys think? Who's winning that game and why? I'll get my chat. I'll get the chat up. Twitch. Who's winning? Is Tim winning because he has the three oils? So or what do you guys think? Who's winning that game and why? I'll get my chat. I'll get the chat up. Twitch. Oh. Oopsie. Why? I turned it up. Who's winning? Is Tim winning because he has the three oils? So or what do you guys think? Who's winning that game and why? I'll get my chat. I'll get the chat. I'm just listening to myself right now. It's just kind of annoying. So. Yeah, yeah, you can make an argument for uh, Marco. It really depended on just how severe the, the dolphin situation was in the middle because we couldn't tell. Did Marco just have him, like, totally fucked right, with dolphins? Because if he did, then it was still winnable. He, Marco needed to get his um, Marco needed to get his uh, MCV to the other side, and then maybe he would win. So this game might actually be going on for quite some more time, guys. Yeah, I think it was... Uh, the position was very... Very asymmetrical. So Marco had the Orb Purifier. So the moment he got his MCV to the other side, I think he could win. Again, it, it comes down to the severity of the Dolphins situation for Mark. It looks like he had a lead, but... And and his, his lead wasn't going to go away t too quickly because he did have 4K in the bank. All right. All right. Who won? Who won? I gotta figure out how to put this chat up. Okay, so who won? <sighs> He's not gonna tell us who won. He's just gonna tell me to get my shit together. All right, so oh, it's Tim. so Marco won because Tim just picked the map. Okay, so Marco won. So I guess what would ha what happened was I guess he expanded, and that was the check. Maybe he must have just had him totally out dolph. It's just way way more dolphins. So Tim just because Marco had control over the oceans in the game. Finished him with what? <laughs> what do you mean? Just finished him? What the fuck, dude? What the fuck? I don't know, guys. What does he mean? I want an explanation, but they're ready to rumble. So here we go. Marco apparently with the three to two lead. That that seemed like there was more to play for in that position. I I, I wonder. I'm. I wish we got to see that. He must have just had way more dolphins. He just went up, killed both of his navy yards, and then just. Tim just couldn't make a navy yard in time. Marcos or Purifier allowed him to get aircraft carriers, which sniped the oils in the middle, and the goody, the, the, the important buildings in the middle, and, and Tim just could not establish a presence on the sea. And Marcos or Purifier allowed his one island to remain uh, relevant long enough so, so that the, the oils in the center did not win Tim the game fast enough, is what I'm guessing happened. It's the only way, that's the only thing I can think of. Anyway, we go to another crazy map here. It's Arctic Circle. The asymmetry continues. Marco here spawning in the top middle position, whereas Tim here spawning. Uh, I don't know if capturing this is necessary, guys. Right? You just build the. Your ore refiner is more efficient, but you're you're spending five hundred that you don't need to spend here. You might go broke. And let's see. If he pays for other oh, dogs here, no wheat. Come on, guys, just play. Just play. Come on, this is stupid. I mean, how silly is this, right? He can't even play. This one dog, this one dog makes it so that you can't play. So, uh, I'm not a believer in NG8, guys. 
Uh, I'm sorry, I'm just not a believer. Alright, so Tim is butt fucking broke right now. He's going to capture his, uh... He only captured one oil, I suppose. Fellas, I'm disappointed in you, Mark. Marky, Marky, Marky. Oh, man, you gotta establish some rules when you make a tourney, guys. It, like, if you're gonna have maps with oil derricks on it, and a luck and a luck based unit called the Attack Dog, make sure the players get their oils. Because this is what it's going to resort to. Nighthawk NG. <laughs> Nighthawk NG, guys. <laughs> that's what... <laughs> That's what it's going to resort to. That being said here, Tim is trying to make the best out of a very difficult situation. He has NG'd Marco's barracks. And ooh, 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 ooh. More minor kills would be huge. There's one. He has more where that came from, though. And it looks like he's going to get some good trades here, cleaning up Marco's army as this distraction here. Just building pillboxes in Marco's base. Oh, dear. And Tim just shutting down the lanes. That being said, this is far from over. Marco still has... Oh, he wants to snipe this. You want to snipe this. That's an important building. This is... Uh, never mind. So, uh, what's going on here? Um, Tim never captured this. He saved it for this. Marco now capturing his islands. So, this is still a playable position for Mark. He still has three miners on gems. Whereas Tim only has two miners... Uh, and I still think Marco is winning this game. He has no War Factory, but he's got 10k and heavily out Rocketeers and has way more oils. Let's get an oil count, shall we? Now hold on on that oil count. Okay, let's just assume he will capture that. So we got three oils for Tim as he pushes up and four oils for Marco. So Tim is down on oil. He's down a miner. Yeah, he still hasn't made another refinery. He's just broke from the, the, the early game shenanigans from Mark. Gets the ore refinery. That was important, but he has another one here. Did not get any miners. He really needed a miner kill there. He still has not made... This, is just, this has been an all-in. So he's just now collecting his second gem patch. So yeah, uh, so future reference, guys, um, NG Eat, if you're going to host a tournament, you got to make the rules uh, the most competitive as possible, right? That is no eat, and if somebody eats slash doesn't get their oils, you just restart. So you can just, so you can have good quality competitive games. We, we had to resort to Nighthawk NG nonsense. Marcos just had complete dominance because of the NG Eat, so... Not a believer in NG8, guys. Because, mainly because the dog is a luck-based unit, right? It's a luck-based unit, 200 credits, tier 1, can ruin the game in a minute and 30 seconds. Which it did this game. That being said, Tim d is collecting some, some goodies here. He is on four miners, but, oh, dear god, he's so out-tanked. We got two, two miners from Marco, some random par uh, GIs here. Tim is on one oil. That's not going to cut it. Marco's on three oils and three war factories and five, six K now. Total control. Marco will do anything to win as he wants the, he wants the allied belt. Tim is trying his best to make a game out of this, this cheese. But he does not have the numbers here as the, the Triple War Factory, 7.5k. So yeah, um, future reference for tournaments, just, just make it no eat, just make that the rule. Because this was not an interesting game to watch or talk about. The dog... The, the dog, the tier one unit that was 200 credits that was right here, the early, ended the game. 
it forced him to NG Nighthawk instead of getting his oil. I'm just not just going to let them do their thing. Rules are rules. So yeah, if, if somebody eats, you just you simply just restart the map so the players can play. Oh boy. See, this, this is what you see when you don't have the rules set up properly. I'll take that. Thank you very much. This needs to be injured for sure in order to stand a chance. Mark is just all over the place. He just has power drops defending himself and... Okay, he needs to somehow get this. Tim somehow has 10k. He somehow has 10k. If Tim wins this game, I will never play any game ever again. Ever. I just refuse to believe it's possible to win from this position. He has no units. Oh, he gets the he gets the MCV. This is one tick. He's gonna kill this. Marco's now base trading. Spam! Spam the air! What do you why you have one rocket? Oh, spam the air, spam pillboxes. Okay, so no no nothing for Marco somehow. I'm glad I I what is going on? Make pillboxes. Make another AFC. What's going on? Repair. He's repairing it. Is it enough? Oh, he wants to kill the... Oh, the elite grizzly! He still has the war factory over here! Oh my god! 23k for Mark, but what's it worth if he can't build any useful units? All he can do is build dogs at his base. And he does have a bunch of grizzly tanks. These should be killing this war. Is he just not aware? Uh, he has a million rocketeers as well. Does he have a, a structure somewhere that I don't see, guys? And no AFC here for Tim. Yeah, he's definitely losing this. Yeah, yeah, yeah. All right, there's just too many grizzlies as well. Nice try here from Tim. Resorting to the NG shenanigans. Twenty-seven K. I don't think that's enough. He does have an elite tank. Um, he does have a Patriot missile at home next to his power. He's got only got a couple rocketeers. He's just gonna repair his army here. This is oh he's got so many weak. He should have saved his MCV instead of trying to kill the IVs with his tanks. Hmm. Is this possible? What do you do here as Mark? What do you do here as Tim? What do you do? Because you're not you're not winning this fight, right? There's too many Grizzlies. They're all healed up now. There's way, way too many Rockets. You have them covered, right? Like, this should be enough air, but... Ah, oh, man. What the hell? And how do you kill this later in the game? Oh, I want this to end a draw so bad so we can play this over again. So I can talk some, some sense into these fools. This just does not look like a winnable game for Tim still, despite the magic shenanigans that he's managed to pull here and make this interesting. I, I still don't see how you ever win this. He Maybe he has to split some of these around the side and get the racks from the back. It just it doesn't look realistic, though. Maybe Marco can put this to use as well. Maybe put some uh, GIs in there. Par uh, drop behind. Marco stranding his Rocketeers once again. All right, so we are now massing GIs versus mass GIs here on Arctic Circle. Is this the ABA Championships or is this two fucking random medium AIs going at it? I, it what are we witnessing here? They're both just massing GIs on Arctic Circle Grand Finals. One barracks apiece. Whoever gets that snipe, Marco should be considering maybe trying to get him out of position somehow and then flying around just sniping it. 
Just giving it the snipe. Wait, wait, wait. Am I missing something? Oh, he, oh, so he intelligently destroyed this bridge, so no no flanks. And if he ever loses the ground fight... Oh, God. Oh, God. This bad boy, the hero. 37k. I don't think that's enough money. You may want to consider... Does he have more grizzlies? I swore he had more than three. I swear. Yep, he's going to go for the backs. Yep, here he goes. And the GIs are trying to contest for the time being. There are just millions of them. What a game. And the lead IV could change things around. He just he doesn't have many IVs. He needs to make sure he doesn't lose any of them. Every every grizzly tank count every grizzly tank kill counts. Every single one. Alright, so he is out of position now, so the these will get sniped by the air. Ooh, that Nighthawk. Alright, an elite rocketeer would be dangerous. And the, Okay, so Marco has remembered his... I need to turn down the volume a little bit here. And the IFVs are... Back up, back up, back up. The, the three grizzly tanks probably not going to cut it here. Oh, an elite IV. That should be it. Looks like a 4-2 to two here for Marco. Alright, so... It's not over till the fat lady sings. Alright, she, she sung. Well, I must say, considering how that game started, it got pretty interesting. Come on, everyone. Okay, all right. I'll grant you one, Mark. One. All right. Okay. Okay, he ended his MCV. All right. Okay. So he gets one. He said, okay, all right. I mean, I did Whatever. That game was already yours. The game was his when he had the dog by your bridge so you couldn't collect your oil, so you were broke. I don't see how, how the game can be determined that early unless the dog <laughs> stops you from getting your oils. Anyway, it's 4-2 to two in favor of Marco. Uh, it is now Tim's map pick. He finds himself here down two games and opting for a South Pacific extremely dynamic map. Uh, you don't... So they're doing random spawns, so hopefully... Um, Nobody spawns uh, top right. It's practically unplayable. Okay, thank goodness. Y you don't want to spawn here. So, top left versus bottom right. Tim's bottom right. Marco top left. Marco finds himself with a 4-2 to two lead here. Hopefully there's no NG8. Uh, strange power plant location here. I wonder what his plan is. Maybe he just wants a really efficient ore refinery and he knows he can still build straight to the center. Now, I've seen uh, Tim place his war factory here before, so I'm curious to see how he uh, how he goes about his business here. Are both players going to go for one miners? One miners. This 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 series is 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 vicious. This is just intense. I can't I've lost uh, English. I've lost English. I've lost English. Um, <laughs> I'm curious to how how they play this um, in terms of their opening. There's just so many different options. You can even go two if you want. Okay, so he goes with this strange war factory placement with an IV first. This is vulnerable to uh, the hill here. Not going towards the center, putting it vulnerable to another hill, so I don't know if I like either of these builds, quite frankly, but Tim is all about the efficient war refinery placement. That's the point of his build. This, this shit, this shit doesn't even make sense, guys. Sorry, Mark. Sorry, Mark. 
Not a fan of this build. <laughs> you're just asking power drops to snipe everything here. Or you're trying to bait them in, I guess. I don't know. You must have some sort of an idea. But as you can see, Tim here just methodically gunning around, just poking in, getting a little bit of damage on one of the Rocketeers. Made a minor uh, after that and is now getting Grizzlies here, controlling the center of the map. So let's compare the efficiency of the Ori Fine replacement, shall we? Look at that beauty. Look at that beauty. Look at this shit show. Look at this shit show. So, but, but this is vulnerable to be, to being sniped. Okay, Mr. Tim, I see you. I see you. So Tim trying to make something happen here at the bottom left. He is out tanked by the looks. He has a shit ton of rockets, they sh and, and Marco making the first move, so to speak, trying to scout out here. But Tim, uh, Tim knows, Tim knows, he's going for the War Factory snipe. This would be huge. The IFV here is out of position. Looks like he's going to get the snipe. What are these doing over here? Huge War Factory snipe. If you lose your War Factory at this, at this stage of the game, it stings. But it, going for the counter War Factory snipe... The repair is there, but will it be in time? The battle app is up in time. IFV on the way, but he gets... All right, he gets the snipe, so it's an equal position. He's off gems right now. This oils will be sniped. That's definitely a factor for sure. That matters. He doesn't have the best economy in the world, so when you lose an oil on top of it, it hurts. Cleaning up the uh, central control here with the rockets. Nice counter. Uh, uh, Tim did not see that coming. The battle app is up. He has a second war factory somehow, so it didn't really hurt him as much as it hurt Marco. Or did it? Because Marco's on two wars or somehow magically. I don't know. What's going on? So he's defended from the rockets. He's got four IFVs and two Patriot missiles and Rocketeers of his own. But he's getting him out of position here. He needs a pillbox desperately. Looks like Tim is holding this for now. The Mirage tanks are on the way. I like this power drop here. No, no sneaky powers over there. And the Rocketeers are being put to good use here for Tim. Does he have enough to hold this? Another fucking elite. Don't, don't. No, no, no. And the power drop is here to save the day. Oh, dear God. Oh, dear God. Messing with fire, Tim. Messing with fire, Tim. You're messing with fire, Tim. Ah, he gave it to him. He gave it to him. Ah. This is not fun. That is not fun to play against. But the Navy Yard is down. This will cover this angle. This will cover this angle. And he has, he's, he's out tanked as well. Marco is slowly uh, collecting all of his gems. He has control over the center. And this is just, oh, he wishes, he, he wishes he, does, he did not have this. The grizzly tanks will come forward now. Oh, 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 Mark, Marky, Marky. Oh, oh, Marky. He wanted, he was greedy. He wanted that snipe. He got baited. Get baited, boy. Get baited, boy. So... The winning condition here for Tim is on the field as looks like he's going to get another oil or no, no. Tim holds on to his oil for the time being here. He's got plenty of air defense. He just needs to make sure his he's, he, he has a good position. No, oh, no, don't control shift in. Wait, what am I talking about? Control shift in. Just own him. Just, just own him. Don't listen to me, boys. Ah. <sighs> Okay, so the counter t uh, ex uh, Navy Yard here from, from Mark. But is it enough? He just lost all of his Grizzly Tanks to the Mirage. And we are at one oil apiece. I guess his plan is to snipe this with the Dolphins, then win with the aircraft carrier. But the Mirage Tanks are on the way at the bottom portion of the map. Ooh, what are you doing? Get up there, boy. Get up there, boy. Get up there, boy. Okay, so Tim is opting on retreat here. Maybe he should have pushed in over here, right? What is the play here from Tim? He just he doesn't want to, what he knows his position is winning. He just doesn't want to take any he doesn't want to do something silly and just like give his base up to a base trade or something. He just wants to play it risk free and just convert this into a win. He already sniped the Navy Yard, the aircraft carrier is on the way. Sell this place. No veterans, thank you. Tim listens, he listens. Okay, so this could be painful. All right, so the, so the winning condition is now on the field. He, he has low power. The Patriot missiles are offline. Now is the time to strike, comrade. 
two vet two vets leading the charge here. The Mirage tanks creating illusions here at tent, at Marco's front door. Like, hey Mark, where's your NG, Mark? Hi. It's four to three. I think the NG um, put Tim in just a trance. I think he was playing a little shaky, and now he just, like, doesn't give a fuck. Marco's duped. He shouldn't have done that. Tim is in full-fledged, no-fucks-given mode, and is just going to just shit all over any opponent at this, at this time. What is the map pick? Bull Run? Here it is, the wingly dangly. You knew that you knew the pick was coming. That wingle dangler. It's like, wait a second. No one fucking plays Malibu. No one plays Malibu. Malibu it is. You know what? Oh yeah, yeah. I was gonna say. This is one of the few edits that Martin has done that actually improved the map. Oh, <gasps> deep breath, boys. <sighs> deep breath. Oh, Jesus Christ. I can't handle this. I can't handle this. Well, good thing Tim didn't uh, win Arctic, or else I would never be playing any game ever again. So, uh, top left here for Tim. Marco, bottom right. You got some sneaky uh, ways around here, which is pretty interesting. So, where do you move first? I guess you move down here first. And you need to move down here, I suppose. The difference is you need to move towards your opponent, regardless of which way you move. And you can move away from your opponent. So it's, I guess it's definitely uh, better to spawn here. But we'll see. We'll see. So what do you go? Um, one miner? Why does he have so much more money? Okay, so, okay, never mind. So I guess one minor AFC after war, and then get your ass to the second gem patch, right? Make sure you get your fucking gem patch. He's got to secure this area. He's got to get his MCV over here. So he can get his MCV over here. That's the idea. I guess that's the trump this position wants to play, right? It gets three expansions. Three, three points with three gems, whereas this position is kind of a little bit more awkward. You got to go over here, then you got to like go all the way up here, right? But there's a time window where the right side is definitely better. So we'll see if Marco can put that to good use. He's, he's not doing, he's not being overly aggressive, whereas Tim is doing a much more aggressive build here. Now he's moving, okay. Oh, he's moving over here. Mm -hmm. Very interesting. Okay. 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 I think this makes Marco's situation later in the game a little bit easier, right? You move here. Away from your opponent. You just keep moving away. Whereas Tim's position is harder. Where do you move after here, right? His base is right here. Now, Tim is on three miners. Marco is on... Okay, Pillbox Force does not get the Ori Finery Snipe just yet. Click it, click it, click it, click it. Another pillbox placed. Ooh, he's going to clean up both. He was distracted somewhere else. That's a shame. Ooh, almost got it. That would have been a big snipe. Getting some damage with the garrison as well. The fodder is here. This is not looking good for Tim. The expansion is established, though. He's still only on three miners. None are collecting gems at the moment. Marco is on four. Marco's also on three. Nice little distraction here. He needs a miner kill. He needs something. Okay, so Tim has now expanded. He has four miners. Did I miss something? Did, did Tim snipe a miner without me noticing it? This is annoying. This is so annoying. Oh my god, it's even gonna get the ORF. He's gonna have to squish it with the fucking miner. <laughs> One tick McGee here. Pretty important save there. At cells. Okay. Um, not sure I understand that decision. I guess it makes sense. He doesn't have any late game potential moving as his opponent is right here, but he's out tanked, right? You, know, you can't fight this. Or is he? One tick McGee here. This is the game of the one tick McGee's. P 
pillbox preemptively just move this back here kill this fucking garrison please god kill this shit he's too out tanks ooh 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 we're factory that's the target ladies and gentlemen he did not expect to sell he did not expect to sell ladies and gentlemen what is going on marco has him out tank the fodder here putting in some good work but the war factory is gone the power is gone the barracks is gone war factory cancelled patriot missile what is that going to do you have no power and gg is called we have ourselves a four to four series holy shit going all the way boys we got all the way boys I need a sip. Oh, wow. I I missed something there. I, I missed some early game tactic that Tim did. Uh, I don't... I, I missed something. I'm not sure what I missed, but I missed something. Very interesting decision to sell there. Um, I wonder how much of that was made up on the fly. I think m most of it might have been, honestly. <laughs> that, that was pretty interesting. Gets the second proxy racks right at Marco's base. It, it's selling made sense in conjunction with the direction that he moved his MCV. Because he wasn't moving it again, <laughs> right? And I'll see what he go all the way around the map, all the way to bottom left, right? So there was no, there was no late game potential there for him. Whereas Marco still had the, all the left side of the map to move his MCV away from his opponent to. Um, so yeah, selling the situation made sense. Um, just Mark just wasn't quite ready for that transition to heavy air with two racks. Man, she's... Uh... Wow. <sighs> Three minutes. Yeah, this is, this is stressful, boys. Ugh. <sighs> we can chill out here. How you guys doing? Everything all right? Life good? Life good? At least you're not playing this fucking stressful shit, right? Jesus Christ. Jesus Christ. ABA, man. ABA. What madman? Jared, if you listen to this, dude, all I got to say is you're a fucking madman, dude. You are a madman. ABA only? Jesus. I'm gonna like develop hives just from watching. It's intense. So Desert Island, right? Gotta move your MCV to the middle. There's too much middle in there. It's been counted. I believe it's thirty six thousand. And we're not we're not talking about the gems at the top and bottom either. We're talking specifically about the gems here and here. And let's face it, when you get one, you get the other, right? 36,000, right? So it's probably a little too much. So, but whatever, that's, that's, that's the map. Um, so you got to get there. You can't neglect it. So I guess both of them will move. The question is when? Probably right away, right? So AFC after war and move. Now what Marco has done, I've seen him do to me, is he'll block your MCV from deploying with his dogs and then the game's over. So this needs to be, so Tim, hopefully Tim is aware of this threat. Um, and makes um, the appropriate adjustments for it. Because if you're forced to deploy your MCV all the way over here, you're, you're not getting new gems. Sorry. You'll get some of them, but you just won't have the economy to keep up. This will be way outnumbered. Um, I think France is probably pretty good here. You just do what he does. Move your MCV in the middle, except you just have a cannon in the middle. Maybe you can make an argument for um, moving your MCV to here, getting these gems, then moving your MCV to here, getting these gems. But A, it takes longer. B, I don't believe it's as many. And C, you're at your your you have vulnerabilities, right? You're spread thin. He has central control. From the center, he can attack any one of those points, right? From the center, he can defend any one of these points. So, central control is extremely important in any any strategy game, especially this one. So when you have all the money in the center, 
You, uh, you just fucking move there. You just fucking move there. Maybe, maybe SVS, you can argue that you don't have to because the rhinos have more range and it's, um, uh, more likely, you're more likely to snipe your all important, uh, opponents first miner collecting gems in the middle. Cause if you get, if you get that miner snipe, then yeah, it's, that's, that's huge. But uh, if you don't, this has been one hell of a series thus far. We've had an M we've had an MCV NG. We've had NGE on Arctic. We had a game crash on depth at the worst possible time. I wish I wish uh, I wish we saw that. Boys, boys, boys. So we're we're coming down to it here. This has turned into a best of five now. It is for all. This is for all the marbles, boys. First to three. Tim at the bottom, Marco at the top. Power, Bax, Ori Refinery, War Factory, AFC, move. Power, Rax, Ori Refinery, War Factory, AFC, move. I like to place the pillbox before I move, you know, just to cover some of the buildings preemptively, because you never know. But I mean, look at all this. Look at all this, guys. In an ideal world, what I would do is I would I would give this a little trim. You know what I mean? Like just trim it up. You know, like just trim it up. Maybe turn some of this into gold. Maybe turn some of that into gold. Maybe so it's not less like there's thirty six thousand credits in the middle. Kind of takes away from the map, in my opinion, because it's just it's so wonderful, right? There's so many different opportunities just splitting everywhere, but you can't. It, those aren't realistic opportunities because there's thirty six thousand credits in the middle. <laughs> um, so we'll see how they approach that. So yeah, clearly more here than than these patches, and you have to move your MCV to to like get them. As I was saying earlier, so AFC after war, are we seeing that? So one miner, one miner. Okay, okay. So yep, yeah, one, one, and one. Okay, so okay. Both players are on the same page here. No AFC after war. The AFC should be coming up now, I suppose. Neither. Okay, so Tim is moving. Marco is also moving. Looks like. Uh, Look at this guy. You want to talk about min maxing? Was that like one thousand? Was that like two k or something? Just got rid of a little bit of money there. He can now place a pillbox there, though, of course. Deploying at the exact same time. Marco hasn't invested in an IV. We got three rocketeers here for Tim, two for Marco, and the desert island middle shenanigans are up. Collecting gems, collecting gems. Marco has more money, because Tim spent more on Rocketeers. Oh, it's delaying. Mm, it's long distance. Mm, this is an important ore refinery. This needs to be placed right now, not later. Okay, so it's up now. Pillbox, please. You're going to need it. All right. Pillbox, please. Pillbox, please. Okay, so some movement here from Mark. Power drop is up. Pillbox is down. There's, okay, the IV is joining the party here. Some sloppy, sloppy rocketeer use here from Mark. Unfortunately, he only lost one, but again, I don't know how much... I don't know if that counts as a full rocketeer, guys. Okay, so Tim is now on four miners. Looks like Marco is on the same. Now what? Both players have established themselves in the middle here at... And what do you do next? Is this a race to prism tax? This is what I was talking about, France, right? Just imagine barracks, 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 grand cannon, right? What do you what do you do against that? You don't do anything but die. France is the way to go, guys. I'm telling you. It's the way to go. That being said, Marco is now on two wars. He he has him out tanked. This is, does not look like a fun fight for Tim here coming up. But Tin does have the Rocketeer advantage. Will it be enough? Power drops defending Marco. We have the Rocketeer number for Marco growing as well. Gonna snipe these. Nice. 
he sm smites these over the cliff here, flying away, getting the damage. Some dogs joining the fray here. I don't know if Tim has enough. It does not look like he does, but he's going to... Marco is retreating. These IFEs are getting closer to elite status. Another Ori finery. Oh, so he's fully established back at home here. The Rocketeers are cleaning up the GIs in the center. Where did his IF go? Did it die? He must have died. And Tim is now out, out Rocketeered. He's out War Factory. And how does Marco have 8K, guys? How does he have 8K? Moving the MCV. No pillboxes. No Patriot missiles on the way. He. This could hurt. This could hurt. He does not want to lose that miner. That's. Oh! The save, boys. The fucking save. The greed from Tim here. Inching closer to Elite. He needs a Patriot missile. Alright, he has IFEs. Okay. The IFEs are here to save the day. Three War Factories now for Mark. One for Tim. And this is getting closer and closer. I don't know about this, guys. This is looking weird. That minor save was absolutely enormous. Did he end up losing it? Back up, back up. No, 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 no. Oh, no. Oh, my God. They're both vets. Oh, they're both vets. He might want to invest in some planes, but he doesn't have the money. Okay, so the ore refiner is down now. He's inching closer, guys. He might want to make a vet. He might want to make a plane. Go up this way. Oh, he could have had some miners there. Yeah, a little late. He looks like he will get one. Huge kill. Huge kill. These are some wankies here. These guys need to go over here. Oh, no, no, no. You're going to get the You're going to get the lead. You're going to get the lead. The lead is up. He got it, though. What the hell is going on? He gets the other vet and Tim. Is he winning? He's winning. Or he's not winning. I don't know. That minor kill was huge, by the way, guys. So Marco has to retreat, lick his wounds here. The IFVs are here. Another minor kill would not be good. He's just diving straight in for it. Does not give a fuck and just lost quite a few units there. But both veteran IFVs are gone. That is the biggest, biggest thing here as Marco has expanded all the way down to the bottom. Tim has managed to expand here, but it's not saturated. He may want to consider getting some of these miners and putting them over there and getting his MCV over here. That being said, let's get a minor count. Looks like we have a little stalemate situation, or do we? This is nice, by the way. I like this. I do not have time to count. What is this? What is this? What a madman. Tim is on drugs, guys. He's on drugs. What is this? Okay, so he's going to put an ore refinery over here. I like it. This is not saturated yet. Get the fucking miners over here, dude. What will happen next? Marco is now on four war factories. He likes his armored units. Can't blame him. Tim, what are you doing? So the, so the GIs are cutting off the IFVs here. But ladies and gentlemen, some good damage here. I don't think he has enough here. This, this elite grizzly does not have enough. Deploy these, please. Get these out of harm's way. Get some damage. This is a vulnerable MCV. Does Marco not know it's there? He might not know it's there. All right, Marco with the four war factories. Looks like he's going to be able to win this game. And I don't know about this MCV over here. And I definitely don't know about one miner being on this patch. It doesn't make any sense to move there if you're not going to use it, right? And your MCV will be killed as soon as he just... Maybe he might not notice. So Tim is heavily out-tanked here. The production from Marco now. Four war factories... Yep, this is the type of stuff he needs to do. He's got to do something like this. But Marco sees it. Patriot Missile as well. Two veterans again. This ah, this is killing me, guys. Why is there only one miner over here? And what is it mining over here for? Uh, ah, this makes me sick. This makes me sick. Is this the target? You got two veteran IFVs right here in your face. Kill them. Kill it! Oh, he was right on top of it. I guess he's being attacked. Did he get anything with those grizzlies? Marco is on 5k, Tim with 8k here. Forcing another Patriot Missile. This is potentially scary. He still has one inefficient miner going all the way. 
You, you need to hire somebody else. Whoever's driving this needs to be fired. All right, so the MCV snipe is here. The Elite IFV causing all sorts of mayhem here. Getting the expansion here from Tim. Can you just chrono these where they belong, please? Please, Jesus. This is a minor as well, but getting the MCV as well. Neither player has an MCV, and he should consider killing this. I don't know what else you're going to do here besides get this. It's the only play here. He should have gotten that. But Marco has one more factory remaining. Tim with 12k. If he can find a way to splash this cash, he might be able to win, but... He's trying to just buy time for himself to splash it. This could this could be devastating. Kills this Rax. Some long distance mining here. Mr. McFire me, please. Fire whoever is driving this vehicle. All right, so no, no MCV for either player. Marco heavily, 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 heavily out tanks. Tim needs, I don't know what he can do here to splash this. 13K, that might be the difference maker. The one War Factory production as Marco pushes forward here for the lead. Elite Grizzly Tank joins the fight for the GOAT. Will the Rocketeers and Elite IFV joins the fight for the GOAT as well. Then this is not enough. This is not enough. And Tim trying to buy himself some time to splash the cash here. This guy is still in the elite tank putting in work. The elite IFV putting in work. Not going to do it. Some Rocketeers and IFVs defending the last ditch effort from Tim. Very never fun to have this much money when you're being eliminated from the game. As the Patriot missiles for Mark all over the place. What a game. That was a cool game. That was pretty cool, guys. That was pretty cool. Not gonna lie. That's a that was uh, 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 difficult to assess that. Whatever the whatever just happened, that's that's difficult to assess. Why did Tim lose that game? I don't know. What happened that game? I have no idea. Maybe he, maybe the expansion down bottom left was a little, little optimistic. The <laughs> he should have built a second war factory and just put his. He didn't need to, right? He had an ore refinery at at a patch that he could saturate. He could, should have just saturated it and made a couple war factories or checked. Okay, so it is five to four in favor of Mister Clang here. Spawning at the bottom left is Mr. Klang, the GOAT, the Marco, the Art Vandalay. The I, I play as Germany and win rank one when I feel like it. And to his top right is I 4 would you last time, you fucking noob. I, I'm 15-0 in this tournament. Do you think you can win? Tim, collective. Anybody's... You can just feel the tension here, the stress... The try hardedness. These guys are trying. <laughs> They're trying hard. Right, it's beautiful to see the, the level of skill that we're seeing here today from these two nerds. These are also two of some of the um, more chillax players in the game. You definitely have some some toxic guys out there, and these guys are definitely not not on this on that list. Especially this guy. One of the most chill guys you'll play with this in this in this game, and you're like, ah, oh, yeah, you know, he's, he's pretty chill to talk to. And then like the game loads up, and it's just like, holy shit, this is a completely different person. I don't know where he gets his um the eye his eye of the tiger from, but he definitely doesn't show it with his words. Let's just put it that way. So Tim has opted for a less e economic build here. I'm not sure why, but um. Marco has as well, so there's some sort of message that I have not received about this map. 
But apparently, I always thought everybody and their mother goes three. But apparently, everybody and their mother who's good goes two. That being said, Tim is currently down a minor. Which is not good. But he has expanded. Deploy, please. Deploy. Thank you. He appears to uh, have the tank numbers as well. Marco is now on six miners. Six. That's a lot of miners, guys. It's not like this is the most efficient refiner you ever placed either. And it's not like these guys are mining efficiently either. So I like Marco's position. I really do. He's he's up. He's up a full miner at the very least. His opponent's on gems, but he doesn't have the minor numbers. We'll see if this is worth it. Marco now on two wars. He firmly believes. And at any point, he can just move his MCB all the way over here, right? If he really needs to. Power drops in the exact same location at the exact same time. Okay, Marco. <laughs> so Tim has one that survives, and Marco with two. Okay, I don't know if Tim has the uh, the eco. His gems are now out. He finds himself down a miner still. And okay, they're even. They're even on miners somehow. One, two, three, four, five, six. Six versus six. I want an ore refinery here, to be honest. An ore refinery here. Is he? Sorry, guys. I need to know what the minor situation is. One, two, three, four, five, six. Okay, so now they're even. Patriot missile in your face. Not good. There are tons of dogs here for both players. I don't know about this. I don't know what's going on. This is a complete mess. Is Tim winning or is he losing? I feel like he won that fight, but he's not necessarily won the game here. He's, he's down war factories. Some well-placed pillboxes. But he just seems to be clearing this up. And where do these come from? What just happened? <sighs> is it 5 all? Wait, that was a 4 minute and 32 second game? I felt like that game was like 7 minutes. So much fucking shit happened. That's Red Alert 2 for you. So much fucking shit happens in 4 minutes and 32 seconds. It's so much better than New Year's Revenge. I'm just going to come out and say it. it's so much better. So much shit happens in 4 minutes in RE2. So much. And you're easy to sit in there. Alright, well I got 3 Rhinos. He's got 3 Rhinos. 30 seconds later, it's like, all right, now I have four riders. He has four riders. I have no threats. He has no threats. I guess I'll just make a battle lab, get my four shield ready. He's not going to move. I'm not going to move. Whereas in RE2, you have fucking bat shit, crazy shit going on by the four minute mark. It's just madness. <clears throat> it's a much better uh, game for uh, competitive games. Um, hopefully some of you have recognized that from watching some of these games. The madness. It's way more. It's way faster. Your economic management has to be way more precise. The decisions you have to make in regards to that has to be way more precise and fast. It's a way more skill-based game. Yellowstone. Fantastic map. No vetoes th thus far by either player. It is five all. Let's just tell him. Just to build the stress. <laughs> just to make it more intense for him. <laughs> Neither of you wanted to hear that. We, we all know you both knew it was 5-5. Five five. I just wanted to tell you guys. Just to just to make you guys sweat. Just even more. That's oh, fucking great. Coming down to the wire here, boys. Coming down to the wire. Here we go. Yellowstone. It is 5-all here in the Grand Championships. Marco versus Tim. Who will come out on top? Who has the bigger dick? Who will triumph here under pressure the last two games? Tim, once again, going firmly believing in the all-efficient or refinery placement. Marco going for his oil derrick first. Both players going for the money first over the, the troops. So, do you go zero here, boys? Or not? The eternal questions. How many miners do you go? And why? The more important question. What is this? What is this? What is this? What is this? Where's the pill? What is this? Uh, 
I believe when you click on them, they say, I got the knowledge, but you, sir, you are a doofus. What was he doing here? I guess the rally point. What is Tim doing? What is Tim doing? He managed to capture his uh, air fort very late. He, he did go one here. So he's going to put his next ore refinery here. His target is the airport, I believe. This is AFK. Tim seems a little bit shaky thus far. Oh, and Marco is taking the bait. He's going for one. Make use of your units. What is the target? Is this the target? I don't know if that's really the target. This is where I would go. What? 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 Okay. So he's giving Marco all the time in the world. He's, he, he went less miners than Marco. He has way more tanks. Any engagement, just go here. Do something. Kill this. He, what are you doing? You have so many more units. Okay, so he, 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 he fell back and made a miner? No, no, he didn't. Tim is beyond my scope of understanding. I will never understand Tim. He's, he's way beyond me. I don't understand why he didn't go for, for something. He had way more tanks. He made less miners, right? So it looks like Marco has a slight lead here. I guess maybe he fell back and made a miner from his war? I don't know. I feel like he could have gotten this airport. But respecting Marco quite a bit here. We'll see if that pays off as Marco has now expanded towards his main here. He also can move here first as well. He also can build here. You can destroy this tree, but an ore refinery here. I guess Mark thinks that's a little risky. Doesn't want to take the risk. Because, you know, you can... That's what, that's where Tim was going. Maybe that's... He didn't scout it and he thought that's where he was. Mark, uh, Tim is now expanding. So it's four miners versus four miners, but Marco's way ahead on the expansion timing here. Some IVs here for Tim. I don't know if this is going to cut it. Sniping the airport. This is not going to cut it here. One pillbox and these are useless. So cleaning up this. Looks like he's going to go for the airport snipe now with the split. Marco getting his rocketeer count up here. Adding some fodder to the fray here. Going straight in. He knows that Tim's out of position because he needed to get the counter kill on the airport. Does he have enough units to defend this? I think he does. The IV control shifting around, getting kills. Rocketeer's number con continue to rise for Marco. The game is on a knife edge. The series is on a knife edge. It is five all. This tournament is going on for months and months. It's all come down to this. These last games, Tim is shooting the ground with IFVs. Miners are being chronoed in. Power drop in the back. Distraction power. I don't like it. I don't like it. That's just going to be mopped up. You want to reinforce your army. But it gets him out of position. So he's going to be able to kill some GIs here. But not all of them, unfortunately. That was just mopped up. T Marco. 3.5k. Has a nice ore refinery here. Two war factories. 4.5k now. Tim. Not, not an efficient ore refinery for this patch. No miners. This is your main patch. This patch has a lot of ore at it. There's no miners there at all. None. I guess he wanted to collect the gems, can't argue with that, but now they need to be chronoed back, right? And you need to get another ore refinery here, you need to move your MCV here. What is going on? I missed something. He got a war factory snipe, so Marco is now down to two war factories. Was it worth it? He, he did lose a few rockets, so Marco has the rocketeer advantage. They look roughly equal on techs. I don't know, Marco's ground forces do have the advantage because of all the power drops he hasn't wasted. And this is not efficient. Okay, so he did chrono them back, he knows exactly what's going on, guys. All right, so both players here still have some money. This is the point of the game where do I tech? Do I don't tech? What do I do? Marco trying to get him out of position here, trying to make a move, trying to come over here or over here. This is this is a vulnerable position. He can build pillboxes here, remember. Okay, so second, third war factory up now for Mark. Where does he go here? Does he move his MCV here, build here, build here? As the action in the dead center of Yellowstone continues. Enough IFVs here to keep him at bay for now, but he's going to be able to come up this way. A defensive power drop from Tim. Coming around here. He cannot afford to lose any of these. He does not want to lose any of these. What is going on? 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 I have no idea what just happened. I have no idea what just happened. Was that good for Marco? He lost a lot of units, so it wasn't good for him in that regard, but did he get minor kills? I think he got minor kills. I think that was good. 
I think it was better than it looked. However, he has no IVs. He's adding them now. Does Tim win this right here, right now? Just attacking the Patriot Missile. Kills it quickly. The dogs from Mark. Now go over here. Go over here. Catching Marco, shifting back and forth. I don't think Tim has the numbers here. Oh, he's overcommitting. He doesn't have the numbers. Oh, he sold his MCV, so he can't rebuild. He's heavily out-tanked here. Getting one more factory. He's going to get another one. There's another one. Marco has three, though. That's the problem. You need to kill this, and you need to kill this. The bare minimum. Bare minimum. Marco has so many more miners. He's even long distance collecting these gems as now. Tim has 4k. Maybe he should chrono some of his miners over here. And this is not this does not look like a winnable game from Tim. He's gonna need some magic. He sold his MCV. He lost two miners over here from that uh, shenanigans. I don't know what happened over here, but as you can see from all the the turmoil from the craters and broken pillboxes, that shit went down. But he, Marco does not have enough tanks. He needs to, excuse me, Tim does not have enough units as another war factory is being placed from Marco here. He has tons of war miners here. This patch is going to win Marco the game, even though it's long distance. Although Tim can still mine over here. He may want to consider just getting all of his miners and putting them over there, selling him. As he's now broke, please move your refinery. You might sell him. You don't have the money, please. But the Rocketeer count is quite high. The Grizzly tank, however, tank number is not though however this is a lot of gis as well tim knows he needs to make a move maybe he can get some minor kills over here the patriot missile defense is looking quite secure the rocketeers can only do so much here mark is patriot missile up tim needs minor kills but he can't leave his base completely wide open this he only has one war factory to his name no mcv marco his plan here is to just chill as he knows his opponent is bleeding he just wants to let him bleed the slow, painful death approach, ladies and gentlemen. Hard to argue with that here, as he has more miners for sure. But Tim does have an efficient patch over here. It's running out. He needs to make some sort of move now. I'm surprised he's not going over here, right? This is where all of his goodies are. This is the patch that's winning him in the game. This is his MCV. This is the this is the play. But he doesn't have the numbers, right? He does not have. He cannot win a fight. He needs to do something else. I don't. He's just kind of waiting around. Right? He needs to do something. He needs to kill miners. But every second that goes by, Marco's mining this. He could tech up. He can... Oh, this is nice. But he has to spare. He, he can move his MCV over here. He can... Marco can still collect this. And Tim is officially going to be out of money here. He cannot win a fight. He's way out tanked. Another Patriot missile for Mark. He even has a veteran... Two veteran Grizzly tanks as well. Don't underestimate that. Okay, this is his only war factory, and he's heavily out-tanked, he's heavily out-minored, and he, he made no move. Marco's movement is just keeping Tim playing defensive here. This is going to take a miracle. I don't even know if sweet baby Lord Jesus can get you out of this one, Tim. Sweet baby Lord Jesus himself. The IV is shooting over the cliff. Rocketeers here. A veteran. Uh, okay. Tim survives, but he lost another miner. He only he's down to three now. Marco still heavily out tanks. Veteran IV as well. Tim trying to hold on. He's trying to make a game out of it. He's get, trying to get the IV snipes, but Marco slips by. The Rocketeers are doing damage. The Rocketeers are doing damage. It looks like Tim's gonna to live to fight another day. As he's going to win this fight, because the Rocketeers are just too strong. Is Marco blowing it? Is he choking? Is he choking? This, like I said, this war patch is winning Marco the game here. He still has his MCV. You may want to consider moving it over here. Maybe getting one of your miners and clicking these gems here also. It's at that stage of the game, boys. Just grab one of them. Click them here. Okay, some... So, uh... Boy, does Tim wish he had an ore refinery right here, right now, right? So, okay. He only has got three miners. He can't afford to lose anything here. And every second that ticks by, Marco's lead just will grow and grow and grow. These Rocketeers are not going to do anything to Marco here. But they can do stuff through his tanks. Every little bit of damage counts. We're 
repair. I still don't see how how Tim can win this. He has three heavily inefficient miners. It's broke. Marco has one, two, three efficient patches to Tim's zero. He also has defensive paras. He still has his MCV. He's got Patriot Missile Defense. Tim, a valiant effort, but okay, so now he's making a move. It might be a little bit too late. This ore's already gone, but it looks like it might be enough to snipe the MCV. What's going on? Am I missing something? He's going to get the MCV. It's one step closer to winning this game, but uh, he lost one of his miners down here, so he's now on two miners. Gets the elite tank. That's a big deal. Should you be going this way? Is this the direction? These Marky, Marky. What's going on? Another elite tank. Tim is just pulling shit out of his ass. This can't be winnable, right? This can't be winnable, right? This cannot be winnable. Marco with the long distance running. Marco is wondering how the fuck Tim is still in this game. He doesn't understand. We don't understand. Nobody understands. Jesus, sweet baby Lord Jesus, doesn't understand. This is not a miner he can afford to lose. Okay, he only has two, and they're going all the way across the map. He may want to consider putting them on ore that's next to ore or refineries. I still don't think this is winnable. There's just too many fucking units. There's just too many. Marco at least does not have his MCV. He still has some money to work with, so... And he has... Oh my god, look at... There's five? Five miners? That's too many. That's too many miners. But we have another veteran... We have a couple veterans here. Another elite tank. Could be a big deal. He has no Rocketeers to his name here. He has some power drops. Marco's only on one war factory. If that gets sniped, he could potentially lose the game. But five miners. Get one of your miners and put him on gems. Get one of your miners and put him on gems. Get one of your miners and put him on gems. Jesus. You have nothing else to do. Yeah, this guy. What's he doing? He's going all over here. Get the fucking gems. The fight you got of this position. I mean, Tim has the elite units, but Marco has the money. Five miners, way better than two miners, boys. Way better. Doesn't take a math whiz to do that. Okay, so he's finally collecting his fucking gems here. And we have a sneaky deaky split here from Tim, trying to get some sort of snipe. Some minor kills from Tim would be huge, trying to even out the score here. He just doesn't have the money. Marco on 3k. He can just spam the grizzly tanks and dogs. He's just, uh, yeah, he just doesn't have the numbers here. One elite falls. The dogs leading the charge. And Tim is being cleaned up here as his final hero on the field. Trying to make something happen is taken out. And Mark, Marco, the goat, is one game away from it all. Stay tuned. It is currently six to five in favor of Clang, La Marco, the goat. But collective, he's undefeated this tourney. Fifteen wins, zero losses. Will he go down now? Will Marco hero it out and win it all in the end? He's got one left. Hmm. Are we doing repeat maps, boys? Veto. Veto. <laughs> what will happen next? Boy, was that a nail biter or what? Jesus, tits. Literally, breasts on a messiah on a crucifix. Literally. That's all I have to say. All right, I'm hearing a lot of messages. I want to make sure that I can be heard here. Um, MZ. All right, it's 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 you. Yeah. Okay, we're good. Whew. All right, hard to know who to cheer here for. I guess this particular game you want Tim to win so we can go to game thirteen, of course. But uh, all right, Tim, his back's against the wall. Six to five. I hope this is a no eat game, please. I was going to type it.
Like, play the game, guys. Come on, play the game. All right, so divide freezes over. I know uh, this. There are mixed feelings about this map. Some people like it. Some people don't. I think it's an amazing map. To be honest, I don't have good results on it, so I don't like it for that reason. But it's very um. It's pro, right? Like, there's a lot of areas you can split. Um, the middle has a very appropriate amount of gems in it. Um, a lot of different contention points. A lot of ways to play it. It's just a great map. Especially in 2v2, it's also fantastic. So what is the build here? I think you can... There's, there's multiple ways you can play this, right? You can... You can just like start spamming pillboxes right away and say, hey, I'm just going to spam miners. Go ahead, T take out my expansion. I'll be way ahead on economy. Or you or you heavily prioritize your expansion. So I guess those are the two main ways. The third way, I suppose, would be to get your MCV to the middle, get the gems. So one miner here from Clang, one miner here from Tim. Both players. Okay, so we have an ore finery at the gems, ore finery at the gems, chronoing the miner over. Collecting all the goodies, same exact thing here. Please micro this, please. Micro, clang, clang, collect gems. You croned, you, so you croned your MCV all the way across the map and not collecting, okay, okay. So one miner from each here and straight grizzly tanks contesting the center. Same idea, both players on the same page as they have been the whole series. Super, super ultra high grandmaster level play here we are seeing as the series is inching closer to an end. All eyes are on Tim. Kenny force a game 13 here on Divide Freezer Zone. Once again, Tim with the more active position. He does look outnumbered here. Not a fight he wants to take. We've got multiple IFVs, more Rocketeers, more dogs. Reinforcements are coming in here. Fourth miner is up for both players as Tim with control over the center. Wants to make a move, doesn't know where to go. Another Ori finder over here, perhaps. So both players working on their fifth miner now. It's that stage of the game where you could tech, but may not want to. Okay, so plenty of war patches here to, to secure for Marco. More here for Tim as well. He may want to, uh, yeah, who, who knows? I'm not sure what to do here. Marco contesting. This area does not want to give this up. Where are the power drops? Here's one of them. Is this is this fightable? This does not look fightable for Tim. I, I, this does not look good. Sneaky, sneaky power drop here all the way down the corner. Marco doing the exact same thing at the exact same time. And he will get the oil and the ore refinery as well, by the looks. Meanwhile, Marco will save his... Huge difference. One oil versus two. One oil versus two, and this this uh, ore refinery will certainly be sniped. Okay, so he's he's down a miner. Uh, he's down an, ore, uh, an oil, and down a, a ore refinery uh, collection placement. Uh, uh, guys, this is just stressing me out. I'm sorry. <laughs> I'm, this is intense. But it looks like Marco has a nice little lead here in this game as this power drop is still forcing every single one of the Rocketeers to go all the way back to base. And it's not done. He's just leaving him to die. Okay. He's got higher priorities. Maybe he was placing an important ore refinery somewhere. Probably this one. But the Rocketeer count for Tim does look quite significant here. The, uh, Marco adding in some fodder. Tim on 4K despite losing his ore refinery. And the oil derrick here. He's got five, six, seven miners over here. Marco with one, two, three, four, five, six. So Marco's down a minor and he will lose. Oh! Uh, uh! Dat Parado. Dat Parado. Sniping the oil, sniping the ore refinery, sniping the war factory, and there's still four GIs there for good measure down at the bottom. Definitely needed here from Tim as he's now on 5K. He's got the lead. He's up a minor. Killed one of Marco's war factories. So, but, but. How does he convert this? He's Oh, he's heavily outnumbered. Look at all these. So many dogs. More tanks, more dogs. But Marco is out-rocketeered, though, however. Four IFVs. Is that enough? He has some rockets. Tim's pushing in. I don't know about this. He looks outnumbered. This does not look like a winnable fight here. Four collective. 
He is so outnumbered. The IFEs are in the back. But he's going for them. Tim needs to go back. He needs to get out. He does not have the numbers here. He does not have the numbers. Losing his IFVs as well. But he wants these vet. He wants these IFVs. He wants these kills so bad. Minor kill would be nice. Minor kill would be nice. The micro from Marco. He's in shape, boys. He's in fucking shape. All right. So he's splitting his Rocketeers up. He's going to get this ore refinery. Very important ore refinery here. It's not particularly efficient, but uh, he gets an elite IFV. An elite Rocketeer in the process here. Where's that veteran? Still alive. Getting his last oil as well. And Tim is has a nice economic lead here. He still is outnumbered in terms of tanks. So no worry refinery here. No worry refinery here. No oil derricks for Marco. One, two, three, four, five, six miners for Marco. Oh, this would be a disaster. This elite IV would be a disaster. Still on one War Factory. He may want to change that. War Factory here, please. Tim needs production. Yeah, oh, and Marco has six IFVs with the veteran leading the charge. He smells the series win, the tournament win, the AVA champion win. He can smell it. But the, the Rocketeer splits from Tim are coming in. Another important ore refinery gone. Inching closer to, to elite status here is the IFV. The game is on a knife edge. What is going on? As the Rocketeer numbers for Tim are saving him, but the, the IFVs and company are here. He cannot fight this. He cannot fight this. There's too many. There's too much. An elite would be absolutely devastating here. And the minor fodder coming in. The elite is coming. The elite is coming. The elite is on the way. What is going on? Two veterans. He's one. He's a couple kills away. But the Rocketeers have forced him out of position. He has to retreat. He does not have the Rocketeer number. He has 5K here to his name. Tim with a 13K. Tim, Timmy boy, Timmy boy, Timmy boy. Use your money, my friend. Make more wars. Make planes. Use your money. But it's looking more and more like this is tipping in Tim's favor as the Rocketeers from Marco trying to get this all-important refinery he does not get it. Still, an elite IV can turn this around at any time, but it looks like the ground forces are now another... Oh, Jesus, I think you got enough money there, pal. Jesus, you greedy, greedy fuck. The man likes his money, what can I say? Marco is now moving his MCV to the center or to the other side, I don't know. But I would love to see another war factory from Tim. You need to stretch over here anyways. Please, make another war, for fuck's sake, mate. There we go. There it is. Another one, please. Another war and then a an Nori finery, please. God. Jesus. Okay, three wars still for Marco. Two for Tim here. These are the biggest threat on the map right now. These veterans. These bad boys here. What will happen next as Tim and Marco, the best of the best, duking it out here to the final seconds. Every moment counts. Patriot Missile securing the center here for Mark. Collecting all the goodies in the middle, making up for his economic deficit here. This is temporary solution, guys. This runs out awfully quick. Maybe that's his plan here. One big final push. But he's out rocketeered. Tim spacing him out with his rocketeer numbers here. These are so scary. Oh my god, these are so scary. They're just so scary. I would make a plane here if I was Tim. Maybe even two. Snipe these. They're one shot from planes. Just trying to get him out of position here, is uh, the, but the Patriot Missile is down. The Elite IFV has joined the party. He's diving in to the position of Mark. Uh, the Elite IFV is on the field. That might be it. Is he... Uh, what? Oh, man, if only he sniped that. But the Rocketeer numbers are still here for Tim. If, if Marco loses his, his Elite, this, this could be Tim's game. It's not over till the Fat Lady sings, but... Looks like we're going to have another lead here. And this is a really important area. Tim going for a base trade. You know he can't fight this. He only has four Grizzlies. And these bad boys. And Marco here can smell victory. He's just inches away from cleaning this up. The second elite IFE joins the party. And the GOAT. The third elite IFE joins the party. It's just an army of elite IVs here for the GOAT. You can hear... Oh my god. Some long distance mining here from the Clang. 
Tim does manage to get the MCV. So he does have an MCV. Maybe a battle lab with Mirage Tanks can save the day here, but three elite IFVs for Marco. Three. And he's pushing for all the marbles. This is it. Our champion, the GOAT, the Clang, the Marco. Seven to five. You saw it here. Tim has finally been defeated by none other than Marco. Wow. What a series. What a series. Whew. GG's.